Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're back for part two of Under the Looking Glass on Land. <laughs> and we're doing this page. And I told you last time that I would finish up the little acorns on this side of the page. And so I did that. I'm going to bring some of those colors over to the other side of the page. So we're using the same colors. And we're just going to go in with <laughs> maize. And I'm going to do the bottom half of these little acorns that are all over the page. So I assume you can see this little guy here. So we're just going to lightly color all that. We'll color the tops too. And there are a few of them all over this page, so. And remember, it's just our base coat, a little light coloring on it, so you know where your light uh, bits are going to be. And well, for me, what it does is helps me figure out where all the little pieces are. So we're out of that side of the page for a second. We've got little acorns up here. Nice little set of three. And then we have a whole bunch of acorns down in this area. In the in little hole in the tree here. We're hiding our acorns. Storing them for the winter. I'm guessing that's an acorn. If it's not, it's a mushroom. I don't know. I'm just going to make it an acorn. <laughs> we'll make that one brown too, whatever it is. Okay, then we do have mushrooms that come out here, and then we have some <clears throat> scaling. Yeah, I know what those are called. You guys are screaming it at me. I'm double checking, make sure we don't have any acorns on this Side. See, we, we were going to miss this little one up here. I'm good at missing. Anybody, that's a mushroom too. I think that's a chimney to this house. We're going to color that in so I know it's there. And belongs to that house. It's a chimney. Okay. Any other little... We've got some cherries or something here, but I'm looking for acorns. <laughs> Sneaky little guy over here in the corner. Any more? I see berries. This looks like an acorn down here. This would be a great time to take a picture of it and show it to someone else and ask them, do you see any acorns that I am missing? Because <laughs> I probably am. But there we go. Doing them in the same colors as these little guys over on this side. So we will go in with um, the rest, the light brown and the dark brown. I have some extra colors out for later. So, I'm going to make them this kind of dark color here. We'll need the black and we'll bring in the tan if we need that. And we also have the daisy yellow. So they're the exact same colors we used on these. Daisy yellow, tan, the light brown, the rust, the dark brown, and the black. Remember, if you have a different set, you can always use the same colors. Um, the light brown will be a light brown in your set. The rest can be a orange, uh, like a burnt orange or a pumpkin. Uh, it's got a red tone to it, so even a Tuscan red could work, but a Tuscan red might be a little dark. A dark brown is going to be your dark brown. You could even use a, a dark umber if you like, um, chocolate, anything would be a di nice dark brown. Black is going to be black. This maize is kind of an ochre color, so it could be either a yellow ochre or a um, 
burnt yellow ochre. Tan is just a, a nice yellowish tone, so this could be more of a light yellow ochre. And the daisy that I'm using is more of a cream color than a yellow. But if you have a cream in your set, that would work just as nice. Okay, here we go. We are going to go in with the rest. I'm going to put um, most of the dark color up on the top, but we want a little of it down here to shade. Okay. I'm just going to do one of these because there are a ton of them and we have a lot to get to on this page. I'm going to go in now with the uh, light brown. And then we'll go in with the dark brown. Go in with the black. And then we're going to go back in with the maze. If you don't use all the colors, that's fine. Just use what you want to use to make the color you want to make. And then we're going to bring in the daisy yellow for the light spots. And there we go, acorn. So all of those will be colored the same way. So we're going to skip doing all of those and to come back to this side. I just wanted you to know how they're done. We're going to do, um, well, we're going to do this chimney before I get too far. <laughs> We're going to go in with a light brown here. Any bit of the rest. Dark brown. back in with the maze. Daisy yellow. And we're going to throw the white in that. And there we go. Okay. Now we'll grab all those pencils and put them back over here on this side. So we have our um, light brown and our rust daisy yellow, tan, maize, black, and dark brown. Move the black out of here. I'm going to bring in three other colors. 
Now these three other colors are going to be the colors of our leaves here. So I've got yellow, burnt orange, and mahogany. I'm doing this uh, page in fall colors. So those colors are going to go in with the colors that we already have to do the acorns. So this is going to make those browns come up into the leaves, kind of giving the leaves a more autumn vibe. We're also going to bring back in the three greens, the olive green, the light olive, and the pale green. And we're going to make the leaves kind of um, changing in the fall colors. So kind of greens, oranges, reds, reds, and yellows. They're all going to be a little different because they're all going to be like what I see outside my window. <laughs> I have a big tree outside my window and its leaves are changing and that's what I'm going to do. So hold on a second and I'll get you down a little closer to a leaf. Okay, so like I said, um, leaves are going to start off kind of a green uh, base and then they're going to be changing to a red at one end. So we also need to put in yellow and the reds and the browns and all that kind of color. So this is going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> I think I'll start with this main leaf here and kind of show you the um, main leaf as the different colors. And then I may just do like um, this one in a red with a little tiny bit of green. This one may be just green with a little bit of yellow, you know, depending on how much color I want going on in the page. So basically we're going to start off and this is the um, dark olive down on this side here and kind of give it some green. Again, we're going to go in really lightly with this color to see how it goes. And if I don't um, care for the dark, dark color down here, I won't do another one like it. <laughs> I'll put it that way. We do have uh, another vine or something coming down on top of this so we don't really want to color in there but if we do we have my trusty little eraser to get that out okay so we have some there remember we have a glow from this light going into this leaf so we want to kind of map that out i don't want to put a dark green over that i want to make that a little lighter and maybe a yellow color so it'll have that kind of glow going on. So we're going to skip that portion of that. Do want it kind of dark down here so I'm going to go over that a few times. Still light hand, not putting too much pressure, just kind of putting the color over the color, layering it up. Okay, we're going to go straight into, um, this is the pale green. And we're going to put that over here. It's almost a yellow color. And blend that right into that color there. And we can put a little of this green over here. Because it'll go nicely with the little glow that's coming down. Okay, and there's glow on this one too, so you want to be careful with that. Okay, there we go. We've got some green going on. I'm going to bring in uh, the yellow. And we're going to add some of that. And see how this is more of a, um, well it's also because I put it right next to the green. Kind of an orangey yellow if you were looking for it in another set. It's got a tiny bit of orange to it. But it is the yellow that's called yellow in this set. <laughs> now I'm basing uh, these colors 
on a set of colors that I used in a book um, that I did fall leaves, um, The Enchanted Forest. It's the owl page I did, and I did that in Prismacolors. And the colors that um, I used in the Prismas were the yellow ochre, which is just about what this tan is. The canary yellow, which is what I'm basing the uh, yellow yellow off of. <laughs> we did a uh, mineral orange which is what I'm basing my burnt orange off of. Just kind of blending this yellow kind of in the center going outward. And we're going to put it on here very lightly. We're going to mix the reds and everything else into this yellow. Okay, and we want a little bit of that down in that green too. Okay, where was I? Mineral orange. Tuscan red is going to be our mahogany. So I use Tuscan red in the prisma. I'm going to add a little red up here at the top. And then I used a little bit of sepia in the Prismacolors, which I have the brown here. I think this set has a sepia, but it's really, really dark. It's almost a black. <coughs> and then I used a light umber, which is our light brown. A dark brown, which is our dark brown. <laughs> Set. Every set has got a dark brown of some sort. And then I used chestnut, which is a reddish brown. And we'll bring a little bit more of this down in here. And then there was the black and white that I use for shading and highlighting. Put a little of it on this side. So those are the colors you could use if you were using Prisma colors. Yellow ochre, canary yellow, mineral orange, Tuscan red, sepia, light umber, orange, dark brown, and chestnut, which will make a nice autumn leaf too. I'm going to bring in some of the um, burnt orange here. Very lightly put it in over here where the light is going to hit. go in with the uh, daisy yellow. That is the color that we have over here and we're going to just darken that up a little bit. I have to sharpen this. It is not very sharp. There we go. So we want that here, 
I'm kind of going over the edge around here. Just a little bit more here. Okay. So it's glowing there. Make sure we have that part. <coughs> so we're going to go in with a little bit of the maze. Can add some of that in there too. accent some of these veins that are coming out. Okay. We're going to darken up our red color here. So bring in the mahogany again. <laughs> We're going to darken it up under here. make this the high point of the leaf and then down here in the lower area so I want to darken up the lower area and bring that out again this is a ruffle type thing so it'll be a little higher here a little lower there and the nice thing about putting in the umpteen amounts of color I put in here is you can go over them and you'll get this nice variation. So going back in with the burnt orange. bring in some brown. So we're going to start with the <coughs> light brown. I have to um, darken that up a little bit. Or start darken it up. Yeah, I'm going to sharpen it. <laughs> I know how to talk this morning. So we're going to darken. And if this isn't dark enough, we'll just go in with the other brown. We're darken it up down here too. up that orange a little bit. Bring in the dark brown.
some of this down here into the uh, green also. Then we're going to go over the whole kitten caboodle with, I'm going to go in with tan. Just kind of make sure everybody is blended up, nice and shiny. Tan is the neutral color, but we'll add the yellow in down into the green. Add a nice golden color up in the oranges. Okay. Now we want to make sure we get a dark side to this side of the um, leaf. So we're going to bring in the dark brown and just around the veins here. I'm going to bring that in and then pull it down a little bit. And then where we can't get it too dark, we'll go in with a little bit of black. Make sure that that looks dark down there. Make sure you get a hint of it up here. Okay, we'll add a little bit more of an orangey color right in this area here. This is rust, so I'm going to bring in some rust. Okay, there you have one dark leaf. If you want to keep blending, you can keep adding a little bit of the greens and the browns. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, it's a leaf. If you want a hole in it, you could put a hole in it. This is just the pale green going over all that. Throw a little pale green up here. A little bit in here. <laughs> it makes no difference where you put it. Makes a cool looking winter or fall leaf. So I uh, will throw a little bit of that pale green right in there. one leaf down. Now they don't all have to be this elaborate. 
okay they can uh, if I turn the light off you'd be able to see that better <laughs> give the camera a little bit to adjust to that I still have to do a little blending we can bring in a blending stick if you don't want to keep adding layers and layers of color Karen Dash full blender if I look into the camera I might be able to do this a little better you want to do this before you go on to the next step you're going like next step he just did 500 steps on that <laughs> you're going lightly over this so you're not putting much pressure on this you just want to get all those colors embedded into the paper what I'm going to do next is add a few more of those little veins um, with a black and if you try to blend this with the black you're going to be blending black all over the place that's good enough for me okay now you can either use a black very 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 sharp pencil um, I usually use the Prisma I'm going to try to use the Sargent Art Black I don't know if it'll work if it doesn't I'll just go to a felt tip pen so get it sharp and then you're going to kind of go over the little veins that we have here and pull them out into the leaf and this is not precise either you just want to draw out and put some squigglies here and there to add veins into the leaf you can do this or not it's your choice <laughs> it just adds a little something where it's darker you just want to keep turning your pencil so you can get a sharp edge on that and there just kind of adds a little more to the leaf okay like I said I'm not going to do every leaf like this but I will pick and choose a couple of them the rest of them are going to be a little bit more solid so say I want to um, we'll do this one up here it's just a little corner of a leaf maybe I want this one to be a little greener so I'll use the pale green up here it's right on the edge and we'll go in with the um, olive green going to have to put something behind there so I don't go over the edge and get the back paper And we'll get some of the um, dark olive. Back again with the olive green. And 
and then with the light pale. It's pale green. Put more pressure on that and do all the blending. <laughs> Don't like these things that are off the edge. Okay. Didn't get that blended in terribly well here. A little bit more of the olive green just to get that. A little more variation there. Okay, then we're going to come in with the black and do the same thing with these. Pull it up, kind of give it some things in there. Okay, so there we have a green one. And while I'm here, we'll do kind of an orange red one over here. So we'll go in with the, oh, I don't know which one should we do. The burnt orange. And remember we have a bit of a light coming in here. So we want to use a little yellow there. Can I find the yellow? Yellow. So we'll use yellow on this side. in with an orange. Uh, this is the uh, burnt orange. Go in with the rest. the orange orange here. Get some color in that yellow up here. And we'll throw in some pale green. And then go over the whole thing with the um Tan.
purple. Go in a little bit more with the uh, yellow. here and we're gonna I don't think maze is gonna be dark enough so I got the light brown darken up the stem here darken that side up a little bit more Basically, just play with them until you think you like the color. I said I have a um, I can't remember what it's called—a lace, lace leaf. <laughs> it's not a maple. It's a mountain lace leaf, something or other, out in my front yard that comes up to my window because I'm in my bedroom and right now it is changing color absolutely gorgeous and it's got green um, base leaves that turn into this really deep deep red which is gorgeous so half of the tree is almost looking like the tips of all the leaves are burnt <laughs> Can you believe it's already September? Jeez. Days around here for me just kind of blend. And a little black in there too. Just down there to deepen that. Okay. <clears throat> so we got a kind of a green leaf, a orange yellow leaf, a multi-colored one and we'll do just a red one over here so we're gonna go in here we'll, we'll do this little one i don't know if that red will really darken up my mushroom so i think that one might have to be a little more green so we'll do this tiny one here we're gonna do this one red so we're putting the mahogany down Get it dark in the crick of the book. And just do it really light on the other side. Dark down here at the base. Leave some room for a burnt or a rust. I'll go in with rust and see how that works. Gives it that red yet brown color. <laughs> and then we'll get some daisy yellow. Just add that in for a highlight on this side. We'll bring in a little of the dark, dark brown. And we'll put in the same little lines in this guy.
And there we have a red leaf. So we'll alternate. Don't alternate. You can do all green. You can do all red. You can do multi. Whatever you want all over the page. I'm going to be doing different colored leaves throughout because I want them all to look a little different. None two are going to be the same. Some will have extra color, some won't. Like that red one's kind of cool. Only had a couple colors. The green one it looks really nice. So we're going to kind of mush those all over the place. Um, what else can I show you? So I showed you how to do the acorns. You can get those done. Do your leaves. There are a lot of them around here. <laughs> Both pages using the same colors. Get those uh, taken care of. And then when we come back, uh, part three, all the leaves on this page will be done. All the acorns will be finished. And then we will work on these little guys and the tree in the next part. Then if we can get one of these little guys done, there are two of them. Um, maybe I can get the background done too. I don't know. That probably will be part four. So what I'm going to do is call it now. I will finish up the leaves off camera and then I will see you back in part three. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care now. Bye.